Hey friends! So today we are going to be talking about pitch. We're going to be talking about the notes and music and hopefully I'm going to make this as not confusing as possible. So in music we have natural notes which on the piano would be the white keys and we have um, the black keys. So before we put in the black keys I just want to show you that there are two places where we don't have a black key in between. So the first place is between B and C and the second place is between E and F. These are already what's called a half step. A half step in music is the smallest distance between two notes. So that means that there's no note in between it. We're not gonna divide it in half again and get a quarter step. We don't have that interval in Western music. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and just label this as a half step. And then the other one here is a half step. And every place else is a whole step. That means that we can divide it in half and that's where our black key would go. So let's go ahead and just divide that in half. There we go. And each of these black lines here, or we'll think of them as black keys on the piano, has two potential names. It could be the sharp version or it can be the flat version. They're the exact same key. So it has two potential names. If I start on an A, for example, I could raise my A a half step by just going up one next note and we could call it an A sharp. Or if I go down from B, the next possible note I'll get to is this black key right here. I could call it a B flat. So if I lower B a half step, I could call this a B flat. If I raise A a half step, I can call it an A sharp right here. So, but this one key, can be called both A sharp or B flat. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next black key that we have. So if I start on C and I raise C a half step, I can call this a C sharp. If I'm on D and I wanna lower D a half step, I can call this a D flat. So again, this black key right here can be called C sharp or it can be called D flat. Okay, next one, we can call this one a D sharp or we can call it an E flat. We're gonna skip these two because they're already a half step apart. And let's go to F. So I can raise F a half step by playing this black key, call it an F sharp. I can also go back a half step from G and call this a G flat. One more. So we could raise G a half step and call this a G sharp. Or I can lower A a half step and make it an A flat. Okay, we're not done, we're almost done. Um, but we have one more thing to do. So the next thing is let's go back to these little naturals again, these natural half steps. Um, we could raise B a half step and we could call this C a B sharp, B sharp. Vice versa, I could lower C a half step and I could call, I could call B a C flat. So B could be called a C flat C could also be called a B sharp. They're the same. Um, they're the same pitch. Okay, so same thing with here. I can raise E a half step and call this an E sharp. F and E sharp are the same. I can lower F a half step and call my E an F flat. So those are all of the notes that we have in music. And you might as well, just if you haven't written this down, just take a screenshot of this because we're gonna need this in the next video um, when we find our hand patterns on the violin or viola and even on the cello, I guess, or maybe any instrument, but on the violin and viola, definitely, we're gonna be using this. So go ahead and take a screenshot. One, two, three. And I will see you next week to help us figure out where our fingers go on the fingerboard. Okay, thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on um, Instagram, it's also Violin Viola Masterclass. If you are a teacherless or you just need a little extra music help during the week and you play the violin and viola, I have a Patreon account just for you guys. It's one dollar and every Monday I upload a little mini lesson for you guys there. And um, if you'd like to reach out for lessons, my website is violinviolamasterclass.com. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.